Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have not picked up the camera in a while. <laughs> I was having a lot of technical difficulties with my work day in my life vlog. <laughs> so that was a bit of a mess, but I finally got that one up last night. So that's that's out there, that's done. Um, it is Tuesday today. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Um, Sorry, I got so distracted by how funny I am. I had such a hectic work week last week that I am so tired <laughs> and so burnt out. But also I had the really hectic work week and I kind of didn't do a lot of my routines. And I am someone who thrives in routine. However, there is so much value in not touching a routine for a while. And I would say I'd stopped for like a week and a half-ish. And that was such a good, a good thing, really. Because it makes you, A, you know you can survive without it. I'm one of the people who's like, well, if I don't do this, my day is ruined. Or it was like that. Like, if I don't do it, my day is ruined. And that's just, that's just not true. I can survive with all of these things that make me feel great. And I can still have a good time without them. Uh, that was actually something my therapist shared with me because I would I shared with her my, one of my routines. This was a few years ago. I was like, well, if I do, I it was like listed like ten or fifteen different things that I did before getting out of bed or like before leaving the house in the morning. And she was like, how about just don't do that for a week, just see how. And I was like, what do you mean? I will perish if I don't do everything on this list. And she was like, no, no, you'll just don't do it for a week. And it was really good. And then it minimized my routine and optimized my routine, if that makes sense. Like it was the things that make me feel good, but it didn't, I didn't like depend on anything to feel good. It wasn't like a complete productivity check, check, check. So anyways, that was a really long winded, long winded way of saying that I haven't done any of my routine in a while. So today it is, it's Tuesday and it's about 1.30. I had work, I was in the office this morning I have one more meeting at 2.30 and I reckon today uh, I'm dog sitting so I'll look off, look, we can go on a dog walk and just do a few bits. I don't even know what this video is going to be. Basically this was a long winded way of introducing you like, hi it's Tuesday and I haven't done any of my routine in a while. I don't know where we're going from here pals. This could be a reset video, could be a day in my life, it could be a week in my life, who knows? Well, come along, welcome! I am usually up on a work day by like 5am, and even on weekends when I don't have an alarm set, I'm usually up by like 7 or 8. It is almost midday, and this... Oh, it like gives me a headache from oversleeping, however. I feel like when this happens, my body needs it. I need that extra sleep. So that's okay. We are starting the day at midday, as uncomfortable and easy as, is, as that is to beat myself up. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I also usually like to dress cute and feel cute and be productive in that sense. But we're going to go with something chill. Still feel a little put together, but a lot more loungewear at home vibes. Some flared leggings. Basic pink tea feels a little girly, which I need. I think this one's from Meg, to be honest. It's very cozy. <laughs> And we're manifesting today. We're manifesting. Wellness. Wellness. Okay, here's the look. Hi, baby. Okay, 
Okay, so throughout all of that, I very intentionally did not sit down because I knew if I sat down, my energy would plummet. I need some lip chap. <laughs> um, so now I'm just gonna go and grab myself a little treat as a reward for getting up today. Actually, I think making this video is helping as well. It's like forcing me to kind of be accountable and like do things. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go and grab myself a little coffee. Lineup is taking forever. <laughs> ah, we move. Thank you so much for your patience. What can I grab you today? Could I please get a grande decaf latte? Yeah, decaf grande latte. And can I do that with coconut milk and one pump of toffee nut? Absolutely. And then, does the Southwest potato, black bean, and egg wrap have like cheese or cream in it? Um, I'm not sure, but we also don't have any. Oh, okay, no worries then. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else for you today? Um, that'll be it, thank you. Perfect, can I grab your name? Kate. Kate? Perfect, it's gonna be 7.30 at the window, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Me too. Holy moly, um, that usually takes me less than 10 minutes. The coffee shop is two minute drive from mine. That took over 40 minutes. <laughs> Small town lunch rush hour, I guess. sweet chili sauce and I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I eat and this is the danger mode danger point because if I sit down and I'm feeling tired I might not get much done and I might feel worse about myself and I might doom scroll so hopefully that won't happen fingers crossed okay so I finished my food that was yummy I feel like the kind of burnout I'm in right now is like a weird combination of being really busy but somehow unproductive as well as like almost too much alone time. Does that make sense? Like I've been dog sitting the last week and like required to be at home and usually on my own and that is not great for me either. So I think that I love my alone time but I also love being around people. So I feel like I need to like do stuff and be around people, but I don't have the energy. And then also when I'm alone and feeling lonely, it saps my energy as well. So it's kind of like a vicious circle. I think today I might just like go to a bookshop, have a chill, little wander, wander around by myself, be around people. Bird spaces, you know, that whole, that whole thing. But yeah, just sitting at home on my own doesn't feel good. I don't, I don't like it. I like it sometimes. I love it a lot of the time, especially when I am busy and getting stuff done. And I need that recuperation. But right now, it feels contradictory to say I'm burning out, but I need to like kind of do stuff. But that is what I need. And I think all of that's super balanced and like, not that it isn't right now, it's out of balance. But like, I think that's definitely like an intuitive thing. Like you really have to assess where you're at. You have to know, you have to know yourself and say, have I been spending too much time alone? Have I been spending too much time around people? What do, what do I need? And go from there. I have a meeting at 1.30, so I'm just gonna do some little paint by numbers until then. Just nice little mindfulness exercise. Okay, I now have a meeting, so. And what's a dog company? I ended up 
falling asleep. Because I'm letting myself rest. But I was waking up by a phone call from Keenan. <laughs> so now I'm going to go to the bookshop and then I'm going to meet him at his house. So we're going to watch a movie. And I'm going to have company. Okay, I had a nap because I felt really tired and sick after eating. I feel like my body is just like taking on the stress because it was a pretty neutral meal just like eggs and vegetables and I got a headache afterwards there were no carbohydrates so I don't know why um so yeah I had a nap and then I woke up to Keenan calling me and he asked if I want to do something tonight so I'm just gonna go to the bookshop first then pick up some snacks and food for the evening and head over to his and that'll be nice to just get out of the house and be around people and I always like spending time with him so that's good but right now I'm grumpy driving to the bookshop so hoping the bookshop will make me feel better. Beautiful. Are you making a coaster, Mum? A Christmas ball. This looks like The Shining. Okay, so last night I finally cried. It all just kind of hit me and I was feeling less numb in with Keenan. So I cried and that felt good. Um, and I still didn't sleep because I slept most of yesterday. So I am not working today. I decided to give myself the day before the weekend to prep. We're going to a wedding, leaving tomorrow on like a 10 hour road trip. So that's gonna be fun. But I'm gonna prep today and just sort of settle myself, get ready. But Keenan's working in the office, but his, oh God, I can't open the phone. His car's in the shop. So I dropped him off and now, I'm going to go home. I want to see if I can just get some like boots for the wedding. I have like a nice pair of knee highs, but they're heeled, which this is outdoors in the middle of Saskatchewan at the end of September. So I feel like heels and mud might not be a good combination. <laughs> So I'd like to get some flat ones, but yes, that is that is today. Off to a bit of a rough start. My head really hurts. My body feels like it's falling apart. But we move. We're gonna look after ourselves. I also got a book yesterday, so I'm gonna read that and just kind of do my own my own pace today. We'll see. And you guys can come along. This is day two of fighting burnout. Okay, I am home. I am going to pick out 
my outfit for the wedding. So I will take you guys along for all my different, all my different, I have two options in my head right now that I'm thinking about. Those might change, we shall see. But that is the game plan. And then I also would like to edit the vlog that is gonna go up this week, which I'm actually kind of excited, I'm very excited about. It was filmed last week, two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try out some outfits. Come along. Okay, this is option one. Um, it is a full wedding outside in the middle of Saskatchewan. <laughs> So I feel like this black underneath might not be the move. It looks a little emo schoolgirl, but I've got like a green color or a creamy beige. And these are the boots I got. Um, they weren't really what I was envisioning. However, I think they might be perfect because they've got like the thick soles. So this might work for outside <laughs> if it's muddy. But yeah, option one, different color underneath, I think. Okay, I really like this with the green. Maybe some... Yes? Yes? I really like this with the green. Maybe with some like brown... Tights? <laughs> Hi! This is option two. I'm not sure how I like this one with the boots. And I feel like the boots are the center of this outfit at this point, so... Um... Maybe if this is like tucked up a little bit more. That's also cute. I do like it. Option three is this little dress. Also with tights, I just simply cannot be bothered to put tights on right now. So this is the next one. Kind of like that too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've texted Keenan to ask his opinion because it's his cousin's wedding and I don't know what he's wearing, so we'll see. I guess we'll see the day of. I have made some lunch. And now I'm just sitting up, I'm watching The West Wing and I'm gonna do that and not think. <laughs> okay, I am dressed ish. The Mr. The Mr. Alfie needs a walk and I. I'm gonna try just walking around in these shoes, breaking them in so that I don't bring them on a trip and then find myself unable. Yeah, he really needs a walk because he's whining. Okay, we're gonna take you out, mister. Let's go, just go grab my AirPods. And we will head out. Maybe? Yeah, and actually, I'm gonna put some lip balm on as well. Okay, let's go. So lovely and windy. Um, I listened to Within You podcast by Rebecca Lee. I've never listened to that before, but I follow Sana Vlut on Instagram and she was on an episode. So I listened to that episode and that was really nice. It was very wholesome and like relevant and just interesting. <laughs> so that was really good. Alfie worked off some energy. He was a happy bunny. And I kind of want to like go to a fitness class tonight, 
And the one that I usually go to, there's a 7 p.m. spin class or a 7 p.m. bar class. And I wouldn't know how to pick between the two. And they're both an hour long. So what I was thinking is that I'll go downstairs to our little home gym and we have a bike. So I might just do like 20 minutes of biking and then like a Pilates YouTube workout. Could be the move, but I might do that now while I have the energy and the inclination. Otherwise, maybe I'll do it later. We'll see. Okay, I'm very stylishly dressed, as you can see, for a workout. gonna do probably a 15 to 20, 25 minute Pilates or stretching or something. You don't have to really, you don't always have to go hard, especially if you're having lower energy, just kind of something that makes you feel good. So this was sweat <laughs> and that always makes me feel better. And I already feel my energized and like I could have gone for longer, but I'm just gonna do this other workout and go from there. My phone died, but <clears throat> we're gonna have a post-workout dinner. I hung out with my sister tonight, which was really nice. Um, I'm about to have some magnesium, put my chamomile tea, the one I bought in Banff. I'm gonna do a little bit more last minute packing and get ready for bed. Shower and wash my hair in the morning. I'm meeting Keenan at his house at seven. I hope I remember everything. <laughs> okay, I did some journaling. I did a lot of extra journaling today just because I felt like I needed it. And that helped. It made me feel a little bit more grounded and kind of connected to myself. And on that note, I'm also just going to do some reading before bed. I'm slowly going through this one in between my fiction books still so I feel like this is kind of the mood as I'm needing a little bit of grounding and getting out of my own head so and after that probably go to bed early morning tomorrow for the road trip I'll probably bring you along so as for right now good night it is 6.30, I've been up since 5, had a shower, packed the last of my bits, and now I'm getting a coffee and heading over to Keenan's and just waiting for a train to pass. So, that's the morning. Good morning. I do feel a lot better today already. I think journaling last night and kind of reading and not going on my phone and doom scrolling was very helpful. So, positive impacts. Keenan told me to. Keenan told me to be here at seven. Yeah, looks good. You muscly. Hmm? You muscly, muscly man. Keenan told me to be here at seven because they're leaving at seven thirty. I get here just before seven. Man hasn't packed. Yeah, I gave myself half an hour to pack. <laughs> okay. Carlos, we're not. I put everything in the box. Just put it in the car. We're good. We're not leaving until like 8.30 at this rate. What the fuck, Katie? Oh, it's your first day of 
best night sleeping in the van. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll pay up. Um, it was really good. I liked it. It was nice. I liked it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I can't ever give a good review. That's, that's a good review. <laughs> So I originally planned this video to be a fending off burnout <laughs> type of video, which was ambitious considering I've been traveling and camping this weekend, but I think it's actually been good. Maybe it inadvertently helped by coincidence, by coincidence, because it's just getting me out of my own head. I'm keeping busy. I'm helping Sammy up for a wedding. I love weddings. And and outside, every breath I take is fresh air. No complaints. Maybe that's my uh, recipe or medicine for burnout is camping. <laughs> with my diet coat, as you can see. Um, this was perfect. This was very relaxing. I would highly recommend, if you haven't had a bath in a while and you hate baths like I claim to, then you should have a bath with some essential oils and a teddy bear headband. A book and some YouTube, it was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Couldn't recommend enough. <laughs> Hello. 
it is about nine o'clock. I've washed my face, I've brushed my teeth, I had my magnesium. I'm trying to get back into taking that because I always have a better sleep when I take my magnesium before bed. Um, I was going to make tea, but I'm already so dozy that I might not get out of bed. Um, <laughs> but I'm just reading now and I'll probably get an early night. And depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, I'll either see you tomorrow or... Well, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Whether that's for a continued fending off burnout or a woohoo I'm cured after a good night's sleep and outro, one or the other, so we'll see. Okay, good night pals. Morning team. It is about six o'clock. I've been up since five. Well, I've been up. I've been awake since five. And I've just finished my morning journaling. I fell asleep about just after nine last night. And I feel so well rested <laughs> for the first time in what feels like a very long time. So I've still got a bit of a headache and a bit of nausea. However, I feel a lot better. So I think today I'm going to do about a half day at work. That's my aim. I'm going to start at about 7 and probably wrap up about 12, get a good few hours in there. And then take the rest of the day to just keep looking after myself and kind of keep plugging along and resting and doing what I've been doing. But I would say I feel a lot more clarity and less less on that edge of burnout so i don't really know if this video was particularly cohesive in the actions i took towards that but basically it's a lot of rest a lot of journaling listening to my body some time to myself and time around loved ones getting outside was huge um the bath made a big difference, a good night's sleep does wonders <laughs> and uh, yeah, just getting to that point of feeling rested when I've woken up I think that always that always makes a difference for me if I don't sleep well I'm, I'm quite useless to be honest but yeah that'll be today and that's more that's more me just wrapping this up I think because I think this is going to be quite a lot of a lot of content um, and a bit of a, a bit of a weird video. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you for watching, if you made it this far, and yeah, please give it a like and a subscribe and a comment, it does help me out greatly, and I much appreciate it, and other than that, thank you again, and I will see you next week.